What is up guys? Welcome to another ice fishing hunt here. Um, I think my snowmobile is going to be mad at me. We're not taking her today. We're going to go hike into a back pond, um, a little northern Wisconsin puddle, and hopefully find our big bluegill friends again. Um, going to be a high of 35 today. It doesn't get more beautiful than this, than being mobile. You know, you got to be so mobile for those bluegills. Drill a bunch of holes and just keep hole hopping. So, um, perfect perfect day for it so we're gonna take advantage we know where some giant bluegills are there's only so many times in the year where you can actually have a legit chance at a 10 inch bluegill at least in my area so we're gonna take full advantage of that had a bunch of fun fishing those crappies yesterday now uh let's get back on the big bluegill hunt they're like big muskies to me that's that's how cool they are they're so smart um yeah just gonna meet up with mike and uh we're gonna start our hike hopefully catch some giant bluegills again This right here, folks, is a beautiful thing about Northern Wisconsin. Look at that. No tracks other than Mike and deer tracks, I think. Or wolf. No, I think they're deer, but <laughs> that's a beautiful thing about Northern Wisconsin. This time of year, nobody out on these lakes by yourself. Gotta love the fresh powder. Those are big. Those are big. <laughs> All right, that's what we're looking for, folks. Mike and I just fished one spot earlier. These are the nuggies we're after. They are 20 feet away. Now, do we drill a bunch of holes and hope they stay in location, or? <laughs> well, it's kind of a. <laughs> I think the best thing that we can do is drill here and go in. Yeah, I keep working tight to this bay. If, they, if we push them in, they're going to come right back out. Yeah, they that's like true. like this depth, they're not going to stay in five feet of water for long. I like it. Whereas they could go out there and never come back. Yeah. Well. I don't know if there's any logic to that. <laughs> I'm liking it. Hey, it's, it's, you can listen to it or not, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm all good with it. Um, <laughs> but, well, yeah, that's the game plan. Mike's going to pop a bunch of holes. Hopefully, we get on some big bluegills again. It's gonna be a 15 inch crappie. Alrighty. There we go. We got something happening at least. We got something, and it feels very small. What do we got, Phoebe? Phoebe brought the good luck. What are you? Ripped out a lot of line. There's the leader. Mr. Bucket. Hey, right, buddy. Got some snow on you. BB, be nice. BB. <laughs> there we go. Hooks right in the corner perfectly. Alrighty. First fish for me of the day. It's only set up one line. Phoebe, you don't like bass, do you? Nice little bass. Bye bye, buddy. Where'd he go, Phoebe? <laughs> Alrighty. Little gills. Aren't being real cooperative for us, but I'll take it that. Yes. 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 First bluegill of the day, folks. And it's a whopper. That's a good one, Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe, no. <laughs> <laughs> she got it. <laughs> she grabbed it. 
That was pretty good, Phoebe. How did that taste? Phoebe is a meat hunter. She she wants to get her limit today, but she gotta be better. Gotta be faster than that, Phoebe. That was pretty good, though. Now, folks, 50 holes later, that I at least did 10, I liked it 40 of them. Slush is already happening up here in northern Wisconsin, which sucks. I hate slush, but um, yeah, we're gonna move locations. We had a good idea, we marked big fish, but uh, they left us as soon as we started fishing, so onward, next spot. At least snow travel is still pretty dang good. Dean's crushing over there. <laughs> oh, did we measure that one? What are we guessing? Eight and three quarter. That is a cool looking fish though. I don't know man, that's probably nice. Uh, almost there, and you're on it, Dean. A snowball. A little snowboard, sorry girl. <laughs> Beebs, you wanna say bye? Oh, she's quick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Dean, what's your tactic? Because I can't get a bite to save my life right now. I'm just doing what you were telling me you were doing out here the other day, just bouncing it off the bottom and then letting it sit a couple feet up. Wow. See, I haven't even been doing that. <laughs> I chose this hole because it's relatively dry around here compared to the swamp we're fishing in over there. Yeah, it is bad. There's a lot of water on the ice. Right on. I'll keep bouncing away. How you doing over there, Mike? <laughs> There's a nice palm sized bluegill. Nice tall female. Beautiful fish. That one hung around while I was dealing with a small one that just nabbed me before this. It was actually quite frustrating. Be nice to the big ones, Phoebe. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, uh, she's good at stealing them out of the hole. Finally. Finally. <laughs> I have caught, well, I haven't caught it yet. Come on. Come on. This is a pretty big mark. There we go. That is what I'm after. Oh, took me a long time to catch one of these things. Got rewarded with an absolute beautiful specimen. Oh my gosh. They just don't get much cooler than that though. Just beautiful. Turquoise. Red. Just red, orange, purple, so flipping cool. Phoebe, be nice. <laughs> Phoebe, you're so good at knowing when people are hooked up with fish. It's nuts. Alrighty, set up for the day. All being kind of really quiet. These bluegills are so spooky. Watch Mike as he eloquently walks through his next hole. <laughs> I just got a small little gold jig, wax worm. Rod, I'm using just a cheap Sienna rod. The spring bobber, ultralight, I think it's a 28. But Mark and multiple fish in this hole. So finally, on something hopefully. Alrighty folks. As you can see, Mike's over there. He's working with the pan optics. We have, it's like, what's the cheese with the hole in it, Dean? Swiss cheese? Swiss cheese. Yeah, literally the ice is like Swiss, Swiss cheese right now. Mike's pointing the pan optics around. I told me to go over here, mark some fish 50 feet away from him. Are so, you on him right now? Yeah, hard to say. Dean's on him. I think I gotta be more this way. <laughs> you 
looks promising. Oh yeah. Thank you, Mike. That's a good one. Humber down in the water. Not that good. There's a fish just showed up out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Pretty little guy. Pile of them. Pile of them right here. No, there's three of them. Scary though. I left my uh, wax worms at the other hole. But luckily there was a wax worm on my other shot. Oh, it's heating up now. We have the magic hour right now. There we go. Oh no, we're after a reducer. Which way? Another quality view. Alright. Both joints. This is yesterday, but the prime time is coming. Gotta bump that one time into your three days of big blue gillies. That would be really cool. Come out. There's the big big bulls. Over nine and a half. Oh, it's a zero. <laughs> it's a male, but yeah, beautiful fish. Nine and a half. I'll settle with that. I'm gonna go chase muskies tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Mike was on a pound fest over here. I uh, marked seven fish and couldn't get one nibble. Yeah, that was fun. I got on a hot hole here for a while, but it's a nice thing about the panoptics thing, especially early on, these fish were so skittish. So again, I just drilled piles and piles of holes. I don't know, I think I probably hit 60 or something today total. 75. 75, <laughs> Ravi was counting for me. But what was nice about that is we can get all the noise out of the way. Um, granted, walking around hole to hole was kind of an issue too, but if we were, it, it's kind of nice that I could point this in either direction, tell Robbie or Dean and Phoebe where to go. You know, there's fish over here. And I had several holes drilled, you know, about seven feet apart. So the, you weren't far away from them with the amount of holes that we had out here. So like it was a lot cheese. of work. <laughs> yeah, Swiss cheese. It was a lot of work, but I mean, otherwise we wouldn't have caught the fish that we did catch today. It's not that we really lit it up, but we're trophy hunting. So. We're trying to outsmart the biggest, baddest fish in the system, and we we did for a few at <laughs> least. So it's fun. I think that's it. Well, yeah. maybe. Well, drop that thing in there. <laughs> See what else is. Was that the biggest one we were you were looking at? Um, recently, yes. Yeah. I mean, there's some other bigger ones out here. Let's see. I think that's a uh, that's a decent fish. That's a big fish. Oh my gosh. That's a huge bluegill. Huge bluegill. Let's see what else we have here. I have this set to 20 feet right now. Holy crap. This is a useful tool, but you have to be responsible with it. Just like everything else. But yeah, that's a that's a Tron right there. Do I have any holes over there? No, but he's kind of coming closer to us. Oh, that's the Tron right there. That's a nice one though. Well, that wraps up uh, that bluegill hunt. No 10 inches, but uh, not a crazy day of fishing. Mike got on a hot hole at the end there. I didn't want to get too close to him and uh, spook his hole, so 
Um, but yeah, he probably caught 20, 30 in one hole. It was one after another, and I was about 40 feet away just watching it all go down, but he did get that nice one um, at the very end there. I have not personally been out ice fishing in uh, over two weeks just because we uh, had that crazy amount of snow come through in northern Wisconsin and just made this these just made these lakes really, really slushy. So um, tomorrow we finally got some nice weather coming in, some 30 degree days. So I'm looking forward to getting out ice fishing again. I won't be on the snowmobile. Um, I don't trust these lakes yet. So I don't know, gonna walk out and uh, see what, what these lakes are like right now. Be interesting to see, hopefully, hopefully not too much of a disaster, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed these uh, ice fishing hunts here. Looking forward to doing some more. Um, yeah, that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next video.